Governor Brian Kemp traveled to Savannah today where the first doses of COVID-19 vaccines arrived in Georgia. We have a long way to go, but this is certainly a bright start uh, to a different, different kind of normal that we've been living the last nine months. Governor Kemp and Dr. Kathleen Toomey, the head of the State Department of Health, looked on as the first frontline health workers in our state received their vaccinations. Doses will reach health care workers in Metro Atlanta by the end of this week. 11 Alive reporter Paolo Suro digs into how hospitals will distribute them once on a temporary short supply. As Metro Atlanta awaits the arrival of the Pfizer coronavirus vaccine, hospitals are preparing to make decisions on which healthcare workers might be the first to receive it. The only limitation is the production of the vaccine, which has been slowed somewhat um, in, in December, but will be accelerating again. That limitation is assuring hospitals stagger who gets the first doses. Grady Health System says it will prioritize high risk healthcare workers and high risk patients first. Emory will be registering staff for specific time slots to then administer doses. Piedmont Healthcare is looking into its high risk group, which is made up of 11,000 healthcare workers. As we look to essential workers, that's many, many people. I think there's probably about 50,000. I think we calculated uh, individuals who fall into that category or not more. Health Commissioner Dr. Kathleen Toomey says all Georgians could be eligible for the vaccine by the summer. According to this NBC map, four out of five Americans live within five miles of a pharmacy that will be part of the federal vaccine allocation. Those areas shown here in blue, areas with zero access within five miles shown in red. In Cobb, Fulton, DeKalb, Gwinnett and surrounding counties, at least 99% of residents live within five miles of a participating pharmacy, while zero to 1% of residents in rural counties like Tolliver and Warren live within five miles of one. Meanwhile, the Moderna vaccine could be authorized by the FDA by the end of the week. Dr. Toomey says many rural hospitals are waiting for that vaccine because it will be easier to transport as it only has to be kept at minus 20 degrees Celsius compared to Pfizer's minus 70 degrees Celsius. Toomey says Georgia is expected to initially receive 174,000 doses of that vaccine. All right, Paula, thank you.